You know it's going to be a long week when the first thing Monday morning Trump tweets start to near double digits. And so it was today with the tweeter in chief weighing in on Amazon, big money loser for the post office apparently, the fake news networks, those so-called caravans of people entering from Mexico that Fox News talked about over the weekend, and he once again declared the death of DACA, which he claimed over the weekend those caravans of people are coming to take advantage of. DACA, by the way, has only ever protected people brought here illegally as young children before 2007. But, of course, that's neither here nor there. Asked about the issue of today's annual White House Easter egg roll, here's what the president had to say. The Democrats have really let them down. It's a shame. And now people are taking advantage of DACA, and that's a shame. Uh, it should have never happened. Trump called on Congress today via Twitter, of course, to pass border legislation and use nuclear option if necessary this morning. And in one final pivot, he called out the Department of Justice, in quotes, and the FBI for slow walking or even not giving the unredacted documents requested by Congress, an embarrassment to our country. That last one is seemingly in reference to House Republicans' efforts to get records relating to the investigation into Hillary Clinton's private email server, which brings us to the real focus of this first segment in tonight's show, women in high places, both past and present. On Thursday, Clinton spoke to a group of 5,000 plus at Rutgers University, where she was asked how she feels when told it's time for her to step off the stage and out of the spotlight. That began to happen after the election. Yeah. I, was really, I was really struck by um, how people said that to me, you know, mostly people in the press. Um, for whatever reason, like, oh, you know, go away, go away. They never said that to any man who was not elected. I'm pretty sure I said it a bunch of times about Ross Perot. But is Clinton right? Is there a double standard at play here? Joining me are Jennifer Sewer. She's a former chair of the Massachusetts Republican Party and founder of Conservative Women for a Better Future. Hi there, Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. And Shannon O'Brien, former state treasurer and Democratic candidate for governor. Shannon, hello to you. Hi. I know you feel really strongly about this, so let's start <laughs> with you. By the way, it's not just the press. A lot of fellow Democrats are not saying shut up, but say stop talking. It seems to me they're not saying don't have an opinion about what's going on in the world. Stop talking about the election. Is that not a fair criticism? Well, I actually know that venue. That's the Rutger Institute for Women in yes, Politics. Is, yeah. And so I think it was a perfectly <laughs> appropriate opportunity for her to have a conversation. But is she right? About, um, is she right? about? I, I think that you did not hear that about other candidates who went out and spoke, whether it was Al Gore, Mitt Romney, or others. Um, I think that she needs to be a little bit more delicate about what she says because sometimes she is making some comments that that themselves make news and I don't think that's helpful to her but I certainly think for her to have a deconstruct a lot of people want to hear from her a lot of people want to talk to her about and, the election absolutely who wants to hear from her about the I, election well the people from the Rutgers Institute for Women in Politics <laughs> for one so that's so what they paid her yeah. when you mentioned another thing where she should be careful I assume this is when she was in India, uh, India yeah. a couple of weeks ago yeah. I won the places that represent two-thirds of Americans GDP the the places that are optimistic, diverse, dynamic, moving forward. A Democratic woman from Ohio last night or sometime over the weekend was trashing her, saying, hello? My people are dynamic, forward-looking. She just didn't win the state. No, that's not... I, as I said, I think that the content of that conversation was not one that was helpful to her. But people want to hear. They want to talk about the election. I mean, you know, with all due respect, people actually say, please come and talk to us and give us a, de you know, deconstruct of the election. She's actually asked to talk about it. Why this. do you have a weird smile on your face, <laughs> Jennifer? Because I love Shannon's interpretation of this. But What's yours? Mine is this. Hillary Clinton, the reason why she did not win the election back in 2016 was because she lost women in the age group of 20 25 to 55 because they don't look at her and and think that she embodies the woman that that we want to have leading us today. Hillary Clinton stood next to her husband when he took advantage of a young woman who was his intern. Okay. When she was running for president, she still never said anything about Monica Lewinsky in trying to support her. Sort of women, like Melania women, Trump, right? Well, you know what? Melania Trump is not running for president, though. She got stuck into that office of being first lady. That is not... But she and, was not and, running for president and Donald, when wait, she was, and Donald quote, Trump, standing Donald by Donald Trump man, did not she? do anything, as far as we know, while he's been president of the United States. Anything, Any of his bad actions occurred prior to that. That is a marital issue. That is not a presidential 
bad actions. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Good. He wasn't elected. She wasn't elected when these things. She didn't do this. Wait, he Clinton did. was in he, office. He was the president of the United Hillary, States when Monica Lewinsky Hillary, was in his office. But we're talking about Hillary Clinton, and you're 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 letting Donald Trump get away with the serial not, grabbing no, and the and, we're and the about, attacks that he made on these. Talking women? about oh Hillary God. Clinton, talking about being a woman in politics and how she's being treated so differently. She never treated women differently. She never treated women like she wanted to be treated. It was Hillary Clinton on a pedestal. All other women below well, can her. You, do you think it's not fair to say that maybe Hillary Clinton wouldn't talk about these things at all if it weren't for the incredibly juvenile behavior of the guy who actually won the election, continuing to talk about how he vanquished her, how she should be in jail, and all these things? No, Isn't I, she sort of responding to a guy who doesn't know how to accept winning? It's a year and a half after the election. Tell get, him that. Get over it. You know what? Who are you and, talking to? Her or him? Her. Get over it. Be the bigger one. Look, if you want to say... Be the you, bigger I one than the man? who was elected president should, of the United if you States, want, if you think the you president's have behavior him, is excused? It's not excused. We're talking about her. We're not talking about him. She was the one on stage there. She's the one saying that men are and, telling and, her to get off stage. But, she should then be the one who's more supportive of women. let me clarify. All of these speeches where she's making this commentary about the election, she's being asked to talk about the election. If you go to the Rutgers Institute for Politics for, in Women, Women in Politics, that's what they but it's not to just there. About. I mean, no, and I think she's. And made by some the way, the she is not. There's not like a gun pointing at her. She could say, no, by the way, that's the past. But, I want to talk about the future of this and, country. And I think that she has, and she continues to do that. And I think that you will see that as you know, as a lot more information comes out, you know, we're sort of going to understand. You can say that it's that she didn't treat women with respect. I think that's a ridiculous overstatement. But we will see the, the some of she the didn't real lose issues. White women, she by the did, way. but I think you will see that there will be many things coming out, and we will have a greater understanding of. What happened in Let's the talk about another woman who most of America never heard of until a couple of weeks ago. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle have been calling for Connecticut Democratic Congresswoman Elizabeth Esty to resign. After it came to light, she kept her former chief of staff on the payroll for three months after she learned he threatened to kill a former colleague he'd been accused of previously harassing and punching. And then Esty gave him a letter of recommendation. In a statement yesterday, she said, for those who have asked, I want to be clear, I'm not resigning and I have important work to do in Congress, including building on lessons of this horrible series of events. In the past, she's been a little less forgiving, like in November, when she called for the resignation of fellow Democrat John Conyers of Michigan, who was accused of sexual harassment about him. She said, I do think the reports about him are of an extremely serious nature. They involve people he had direct authority over, staff in his congressional office who are entirely reliant upon him for their livelihood. It's entirely unacceptable think he should resign. She's not resigning, but what a difference a day makes. She announced, uh, literally, as we're about to go on the air, that she would not be running for re-election. Is her continuing to stick around, assuming this is what she holds still, to November going to be a drag on this, what many hope will be, a Democratic tsunami come the fall? No, I mean, I think the fact that she announces that she's not running for re-election, I think, is... Uh, That's enough? It's, I think, well, I, I think that it is. And I think that leaving your district, you know, unrepresented during very, very critical time in our, our history, I think, is, is important. And that being said, I think... Not she, to leave it. Uh, not not yeah. to leave, um, and, and that she has taken an unprecedented step of actually accepting, I think, responsibility for this and, and moving forward. I think she made mistakes. There's no question about that. She should have suspended him immediately. I think that the whole cover-up, you know, the alleged cover-up, I think that that's something that she has to apologize for. But I think she's taking a big step. She's saying, I'm not going to run. She's Are listening. Republicans going to criticize the Democrats saying they're letting her stay Absolutely. for an additional X number of months? They are? Absolutely. Is that a fair criticism? All the, all the men left. All the men that were accused of doing something wrong left. Whether it was her or it was him, it doesn't matter. The fact of the matter remains that she let staffers of her that are subordinates to this man be, feel that they were not being protected. And they, she was protecting him. She should have gotten rid of him immediately. Since she didn't get rid of him immediately, she should now depart. The men that had been accused of wrongdoing, they left. She should leave as well. So yeah. this, is, this, is, this is the same thing. Hillary Clinton, vicarious liability for the stuff that her husband did. She's the, she's the bad guy. This woman, again, it's vicarious liability. She's taking steps to 
um, uh, deal with this issue. She's saying that she's accepting personal responsibility for the mistakes that she made. But, but the fact is, where are the Republicans? They're calling for this woman to step down because she didn't intercede quickly enough, yet you don't hear them. It's crickets when it talks about whether or not President Trump should resign. This happened do you think in that her President, office. Do you think this that President Trump should that resign? Do you think up. that President Trump should resign? Uh, the President, his actions happen prior to oh him being God. the President of the United States. Do I think that it is he acceptable? It, Absolutely it, not. But that is an issue okay. with him and Melania. That is an issue with him and his family. That is not an issue where this woman who gets paid by taxpayers was supporting someone else who gets paid by taxpayers to be so in a it's position okay for to Donald harass Trump to, it's okay other for women. Donald Trump, Donald Trump to is commit not a crime, doing it. To commit a crime. He did not commit a crime. He's he's the president of the United States. He did not agree, commit a crime. Anything that he did, any of the Actually, affairs you know that I he had was prior to him being the president. Adultery is still a crime in New York State, which I did not know. Did well, you I don't know think that? Eric Schneiderman's yeah. going after him. But <laughs> yeah, by the way, know, not, the people the you're is. talking about, for better or worse, the vast majority of the accusations against Donald Trump mm -hmm. people knew about on November, I think, 8th, and chose to ignore them, at least to the point of electing him. He would argue that was his reckoning. His reckoning was either not guilty or guilty, but he can be president of the United States. No, they give Donald Trump a pass. They don't give Hillary Clinton a pass for her vicarious issues. They hold her to a higher standard. They hold her to what I believe is a sexist standard. The fact that they let him get away with that behavior is a problem. That part is true, is it not? That she is held to a higher standard By the Hillary way, all Clinton of us have. than Donald Trump? All of us have. I've been in politics for 25 years. Shannon's been in politics a long time. We are, as women, we are always held to a higher standard than our male counterparts are. That is absolutely 100 percent true. I wish That's this could true. continue, but sadly <laughs> it can't. We won't get to Roseanne. We'll do that another night. Nice to see you, Jennifer. Good to see you. Shannon, thank, you. thank you. Good to see you as well.